Dixon is in the lineup, replacing Doty. She can really break a press. Lead to Lucas in the corner. She's hitting 38% from beyond that line, but can't connect on the first one. The player with the basketball is the one to watch and the one Rebecca just referenced. Lauren Dixon was sensational against Carolina last year. One turnover in 23 minutes. The 6'1 senior had a very solid performance against Virginia over the weekend. One dribble down and a back shot good by Green. A quick strike by Connecticut. Well, the pace of this one should be absolutely fun. Not only the two highest scoring teams in the country, the two top ranked teams in the country. And stylistically, you'll get some pressure from Carolina. Dixon breaks the pressure and not only breaks it, but breaks it to score it. Well, what do you like about Lauren Dixon's presence thus far? She is playing aggressively and assertively. Now, remember, she played seven minutes the last game against Syracuse. She had her best practice of the season on Sunday or yesterday. And so she comes prepared, understanding that tonight is an opportunity for me. Now, she played so well last season. You referenced it against Carolina. 23 minutes, only turned it over one time, that when she came out of the game, she got a very rare hug from Gino. That kind of display, he usually reserves that for seniors who have graduated. You know what, I think she made some strides mentally in that particular instance, and, and the decision to start her is about nothing more than matchups. This Closer, let's take a look at that last one. Well, what do you like about this play with Lauren Dixon besides the fact that she beats her defender and makes a nice dish to the weak side of the floor? You like the fact, Dave, that the prior possession, she had a pass that went completely out of bounds. Renee Montgomery wasn't even looking, but she didn't hang her head. She just played the next play. Dixon on the drive. Right by the Graffinry. Great move with the right hand. You call that staying in the box. That is her strength. I mean, she's not a particularly great three-point shooter, but off the bounce with that speed, she can be effective. White is around and out. Chicago going up for the rebound, but saved by the Huskies, and here they come. As a team shooting 54% for the season. Right through everybody is Dixon. Lauren Dixon, a bit of a surprise that she drew the starting assignment here tonight. But it's paying off. Yeah, I mean, it, it was an opportunistic situation for her in that particular instance. I think she understands. This is a matchup where she can be successful because the pace will be fast. Rebound battle for. And torn away, but also a jump ball situation. And on the possession arrow, Connecticut will win it. But just a terrific defensive play by Lauren Dixon. Uh, she's got great speed, not only with her feet, but her hands. And both teams are without a key player. And McLaren did a great job with a stop. Just reached, tapped the ball. Here comes Dixon. No foul. She'll lay it in. Oh, go ahead, Lauren Dixon. Go ahead, cross her over and attack that rim. Then Connecticut leads by a healthy margin. Getting a lot of help from Lauren Dixon, getting her first start of the season tonight. 16-point lead for Connecticut. Let's join Cindy Brunson in the studio for the halftime report. For Gino Ariema, he relies on role players. Who's really stepping up in the first half today? Well, Lauren Dixon jumps off the page at you, but Kyler McLaren as well. And with the loss of Caroline Doty, UConn is going to have to mix in some zone there on their back line, reading cuts and then being aggressive in transition. We talked about off of North Carolina's missed shots. When you're having the opportunity to play with those big three players, Lauren Dixon taking advantage of the gaps afforded to her. Lauren Dixon, who is getting a start tonight after Caroline Doty goes down, was terrific. Off the bounce, push the pace kind of guard. LeBron's got his crab dribble. I'm going to let her teammates come up with a nickname for that one. I'm not sure that was legal. Green up top for McLaren. Finds Dixon amongst the trees and draws the foul. Boy, very spirited effort by the sophomore out of Springfield Gardens, New York, Lauren Dixon, drawing her first start of the season here tonight. She's certainly not shy because she's going in amongst the trees. It takes a pretty good lick from behind. It was thought for a while that Kylie McLaren might make her first start of the season to replace Carolyn Doty. Gina Oriema went with the little guard because he knew how much Carolina would be pressing in particular, and she can break that press. And she also had a very, very good game against Carolina in their win last year. Yeah, exactly. And one turnover in 23 minutes. She was sensational. The pace of this game favors her, the style in transition. But how about the six boards? I mean, she's listed at about 5-4. It might be generous. And she's got six rebounds. And I, we just saw exactly where Lauren Dixon got that dribble. Jen Rosati had one of those dribbles in that highlight. 
Dixon with a give off and laid in by Green. Another well run break. How many players in the country can play seven minutes against Syracuse? Come here, one versus two, national television. Lauren Dixon's got nine points. She hasn't missed a shot. Five assists and six rebounds. That's not a bad night. Firing up that heat in the visiting locker room, and they would swelter in there. Another well run play. It's Dixon for two, and she's really capping off a very impressive night running this point. Boy, all of a sudden you feel a little bit more comfortable if you're the Connecticut staff, understanding how well she played in this circumstance. Really played very well. The 6 2 junior out of Washington, D.C. And Kentucky continues to pile it on now. 13 points for Dixon. Lauren Dixon knocks that one down. Well, Connecticut came in averaging about 89 points a game. And um, can't say enough about our guys. I mean, Lauren Dixon gets her first start and plays great. 